Hi everyone, it's Linda, and I am updating on my phone. I'm sure you can tell that it's kind of really hard for me to understand. I have to look over here where my fingers are instead of right at the screen. I'm not used to it. Anyway, <laughs> it's day after Easter. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. So far I've had, um, well, Easter was relaxing, but I had a headache all day, and I don't know what was up with that. I know we had storms roll through, and, you know, I think it could have been I was getting pressure headaches, which is fine. Happens all the time, believe it or not. <sighs> As you can tell, I'm at work. I'm always at work. And anyway, I actually got some good news on Friday about my job. I was talking to my boss. I'm looking at numbers and stuff right now, so you'll have to excuse me. Because I'm trying to figure out how I'm doing for the year. And she said, okay, at the beginning of the year, we set a goal of... Um, for my salon for $500,000 in sales. Yes, 500000 Since I was manager, I've seen a steady decline in our numbers, and last year we actually only did about 425000 I think. I think. Maybe. Might not even have been that much. So anyway, we were shooting for 500000 this year at the beginning of the year, and our fiscal year is up in two more months. But she was here oddling my paperwork on Friday, and um, I walked by in between clients, and she, and she said, she said, Linda, come here, i got to show you something. I'm, okay. And so I came in here, and she said, look. I'm like, you know, I didn't know. She had a, a different sheet up than what I'm looking at right now. And she's like, you're already 97.86% to your go. And I'm, what are you talking about? She said, you know that 500,000 go that you said at the beginning of the year? You're going to hit it. You're going to overshoot it. And I'm like, what? What? That made me very happy. Very, very happy. I'm very happy and excited right now. Still, now that I'm thinking of it, because... I really honestly thought there was no way we were going to hit that go. I just didn't think there was any way. And if that's the case, then we're going to overshoot it. For 97% to it, we're probably going to overshoot it. We're probably going to be in the 525,000 range, maybe even 540, close to 550. Anyway. That would mean my sales last year have increased by almost $100,000. That's super, that's just wonderful. I mean, I, I, you know, being management and you know you have to see these numbers and you've seen what has come before you, you know that, you know, you've got numbers to make up and you know you have sales to make up and everything else and um, you know it gets discouraging when you have to just look at numbers all the time you have to be aware of all your numbers you have to sorry my hair is really bothering me this morning it feels staticky to me in here Ugh. anyway you know, you have to look at all the numbers. You have to see everything that's going on. And, and you know, it, as management, if you're not producing those numbers, you don't get to keep your job. I mean, I don't know anybody in management that has actually, you know, been able to keep their job and not be stepped down if they aren't getting the results the company wants. And I felt like I was almost to that point where either I was going to step down myself or they were going to end up stepping me down. And it's been very discouraging, you know, because I love what I do. I wish it would, I would have more free time, but I love what I do. I love being a hairstylist. I love 
being management, um, you know, I, what can I say? I do. So seeing those numbers and having those numbers has just been, you know, the whole weekend I was just like, I can't believe that. And after our fiscal year is over, right before my birthday, I end up getting my bonus check. So <laughs> my bonus this year is going to be twice as much as it was last year. And, you know, I can't even be happier than that. I mean, how can anybody not be happy about something like that? Because that is huge. And, you know, and it comes right before my birthday. So I'm just wondering what I'm going to do for my birthday now. Because I know I'm going on vacation in August. So I may spend half of it up on vacation. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm not a materialistic person. I'm just very happy with where those numbers are at and I haven't had a vacation and went somewhere in a good 10 years so I'm going to have one of the best vacations ever ever that's my goal is what it is you know anyway um so <laughs> yeah here I am at work excited because I'm looking at the numbers and we are 97.86 percent to our goal for the year so that's just super awesome super awesome anyway I'm trying to think what else has been going on I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to keep this video on here so I'm going to pretty much wrap it up my update was pretty much all about work and my life that's all that's been happening I have been working I had a new composition book and I'm turning it into a art slash type journal I finished the front and back cover the inside cover and the first page I painted I finished the pit two pages after that and the reason why it's so slow going for me is because I do not have a heat tool and the only other thing I could, um, you know, dry my projects with is my hair dryer. <laughs> and I'm not going to do that. I don't want to make a mess. My plan was to get all the backgrounds and whatever in the book done and, you know, and then start um, journaling or whatever in it. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing I, I I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and start decorating pages and start writing in it or, you know, I don't know where I'm going with that. I really wish I had more time to put into it. I just don't. And, you know, yes, it does suck because then I get home and I'm like, oh, I, have t I have no time for anything else. Like today, when I get home, I'm going to eat leftovers from the Easter dinner I made yesterday. And then I have to finish my taxes. They're due tomorrow. And so I have to file them online tonight, hands down. I mean, and hopefully, if not, I can finish them tomorrow night, as long as they're done and in by midnight tomorrow or postage stamp by midnight tomorrow or whatever I need to do, which I'm going to file online through the IRS. I'm getting it done tonight. I have to get that done. I don't care if I'm up all night. It has to be done. So anyway, that is my update. That's all that's going on. I have been able to watch some channels. I have not been able to do anything else. I'm still totally loving watching junk journals and, and you know, grabbing glues and all of that stuff. I'm loving that. I'm not really loving planner videos. I'm just not. I don't know why. You know, I, I'm not, I guess I'm just not a planner girl. I've tried. It doesn't work out for me because 